Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to recycle bullets in Game Salad. Now a lot of people would just spawn the bullet, have it destroy, spawn a new bullet, have it destroy over and over and over again. Um, but all that does is increases your RAM and it uh, decreases your performance. So I'm going to show you how to just reuse the bullets that you use over and over and over and over again. Um, the very first thing I like to do is change the scene size. So we're going to hit scene, size, and I'm going to double. So it'll be uh, 960 and 640. I like to use this area to put stuff that the user won't see, but I can call on at any point. Um, so for my purposes, this is what I do. We're going to create three uh, act actors. The first one will be called Walls, second one will be called Bombs, and the third one will be called Shooter. We're going to go into Attributes, and I'm going to create two real attributes. And the reason why we're using real is because we're calling on locations, and locations X and Y's um, use decimal points, so that's how you record them uh, with a real attribute. The first one will be oops, uh, shooters x. The second one will be shooters y. Then we'll need a index attribute because it's going to be a whole number between zero and infinity, and we'll call this. Um, bomb count and then the last one I think we need is a boolean and that's because it's gonna be a yes or no answer and we're gonna call this shoot now it should be the all the attributes we need we will see so now I'm gonna go into the wall actor and I'm going to drag and put walls all around my scene because I'm gonna use these as a trigger um, for the bullets drag these here put them all around you'll have your walls in different spots I'm sure now because the user isn't gonna see my walls I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna change the graphics to not visible and I'm gonna choose physics movable off and that'll really help increase performance now I'm gonna go into the bomb actor and I'm going to make it red and I'm going to make the size probably about 14 by 14 and then I'm going to go to the shooter actor I'm going to drag the shooter down here and I go into the shooter and I do change attribute game Shooter X to self position X. So I'm recording the X and Y of the shooter. And now we'll do the next one game shooter Y to self position Y. So no matter where you place the shooter on the scene, it will record its location for you. That way we can tell the bullets where to start at. So I got that. I'm just going to do a quick save. Save as uh, recycle. We'll just call it RDC. Okay. Um, now we're going to create a rule, and we're going to say when touch is pressed and attribute game shoot is false, we're going to change attribute. And we're going to change game bomb count to open bracket game bomb count plus one close bracket percent 10. And the reason why we're using 10 is because we're going to have 10 bomb bullets that we're recycling or bombs. Um, so it starts out at zero. And every time you press, it's going to add 1 to it. So it's going to go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
and then go back to 0. It's not going to 10 because 0 is actually a digit. And so we have 10 digits, so we're actually starting from 0 to 9. And then we're going to do change attribute, and we're going to change game shoot to true. We're going to hit back, and I'm going to hit save. Now we're going to do our bombs here. We're going to open the bomb, and we're going to create some attributes. Again, we're going to create two real attributes, because we're going to record its starting location. So I'm going to do the first one starting x and starting y and again we use real attributes because we're referring to x and y's and we have decimal points in that um, and then we're going to do another one and we're going to call this one an integer and we'll call it what bomb am i and the first bomb is going to be zero so we're going to do change attribute uh, bomb starting x to self position x and then we'll do another change attribute self starting y to self position y now that's going to record where the bomb starts so when we put it off to the side, it's going to record its location so it knows where to go back to when we're done using it and it's waiting for its next orders. Now we're going to create a rule. And we're going to say when attribute self what bomb am I equals game bomb count and so with the plus sign again, attribute game shoot is true. The reason why we have to add this is because if we didn't, it would just as soon as the round starts, it would instantly shoot the first bomb. Uh, but we want to wait till it knows that it's ready to shoot. So when we do that, we're going to say change attribute self position x to game shooters x and then we're going to say change attribute self position y to game shooters y so no matter where it is when we need it we're going to call it back and bring it right to where the shooter is i'm just going to hit save again and then I'm going to put in a change velocity. I don't know how you're going to shoot your bullets. Um, this is where you would put um, where it's going to go. So if you were going to go to the mouse location, um, that's where you'd put your rules. But for the case of this, I'm just going to tell it to shoot in a semi diagonal direction at the speed of 500 uh, relative to scene. And that's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another rule and I'm going to say, let me shrink this one, I'm going to say when overlaps or collides with a wall, I want it to change attribute and we're going to change self position x to self starting x. So we're telling it to go back to where it started and I do change attribute self position y to self starting y and then we're also going to do a change attribute and we're going to add it to the top and we're going to change self motion linear velocity x to zero another change attribute self motion linear velocity y to zero and one more change attribute self motion angular velocity to zero make sure you put these three above the change positions I'm gonna hit save again and now I'm gonna go ahead and press preview oh actually 
first we need to add the bombs to the scene. Now normally I would add them way out here so you don't see them, but I'm actually going to put them in the scene just so you can see what is happening. And game cell crashed, so good thing I was saving. So we'll go reopen. Good old game salad. <laughs> uh, don't send report right now. All right, make sure all my rules are still there. Um, yep. I'll go ahead and drag these back on. One, two, three, and we're gonna use ten bombs. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we have to do one very important thing. The first one's already set to zero, so we're going to go to the second one, double click it, and change what bomb am I to one. So it's zero, one, next one is two, so we'll change to two. Three, four, five, six, almost there, seven, eight. and nine. Remember we have ten bombs but we only got up to nine because zero is a digit. I'm gonna save just in case it crashes again and hit preview. So now you'll see when I press the the fire button it's gonna shoot and as you can see the first one left and went back to where it was. So now, oh sorry we forgot one thing. On the bomb we also want when it fires to change attribute game dot shoot to false so that way it knows it can fire again so I'll hit preview and so I keep firing and as you can see the bombs keep going but they go back to where they started and I can go really fast and I just keep recycling those bombs over and over and over again and as you see they just go right back to where they started so that's pretty much all you need to know about recycling your bullets in Game Salad. Don't forget to head on over to gshelper.com and you can download this project file for free. Just download it, play with it, uh, change it up, do what you want with it. And uh, I hope you really enjoyed it. Talk to you soon.